this let's all come to a agreement not every person not every guy is get on top of it yeah i'm passionate i work hard so when it pop it ain't on accident yeah i'm always on go better watch your i go don't forget to let you know i'll be falling hi loves welcome back to the channel so i wanted to make a video that was geared towards um, some insecurities that fat women, plus size women, curvy women, whatever you want to call it, um, what may be faced in the bedroom or, you know, just as far as being comfortable with yourself and your sexuality. Um, this is actually off the top of the head. I just was thinking like, I don't just want to do an Adam and what? <laughs> I don't just want to do an Adam and Eve haul. I kind of just want to, with these hauls, I used to do topics and stuff. So I just want to get back on that. Um... So yeah, I wanted to kind of dive in to this topic a little bit. Uh, and again, it's off the top of the head, so I might miss some things. I might not think of a few things, but it is what it is. Comment down below what your, I guess, biggest insecurity or biggest fear was in the bedroom or with your sexuality. So for number one, I will say, before we get started, I do have a coupon code with Adam and Eve. It is white and you will receive 50% off of any item plus free shipping. Um, you know, it does have exclusions and stuff like that, but I'll leave that down below. But um, I will say being completely naked or nude was definitely a fair for me. And um, I know a lot of people are like, if you, why my chair won't move? <laughs> well, I know a lot of people are like, how are you having sex? You know, if you're not even comfortable with being naked. But you know, some people just have sex with their bra still on or a tank top on or whatever the case is slide the panties to the side whatever you know I don't really know what everybody does but um I know for a fact with me uh let me think being completely like nude was just like oh you know they see everything like that's your most vulnerable state you know um you know, besides emotionally, but physically, that's your most vulnerable state. And I know it's our most natural state as well, but it just was like a big, it was a big thing for me to finally do that. And now that I do it, have no problem walking around like that. You can see it jiggle, you can see it wiggle, you can lay it down, lotion it down, all of that, you know? <laughs> so, um, the first thing I will go to and show you guys is the Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, this is the Greedy Girl G-Spot Rabbit Vibrator, and it looks like that. Um, I guess I'll open it. I actually picked this out for a friend. I won't say no names, because she probably, ah, uh -uh. oh, <laughs> don't tell nobody. That's for me. But, okay, I don't want anything to fall out. Oh, look at her. She's cute. So she is rechargeable. She comes with a cute little red satin bag. Okay. But I really like this one. But you guys know I'm not really into, um, you know, I guess you would call that a dildo. I'm really into bullets. So I'm packaging this back all wrong. But it's cool. So the next insecurity I want to speak about, which I actually spoke about before, and that was getting on top. And some people, first of all, let's understand this. Let's all come to an agreement. Not every person, not every guy is get on top of it. Okay? Not every guy is get on top of it. So if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. You get it? All right. But... You have the, you got to have the right length, width, girth, whatever you want to call it. You got to have that, you know, because as a big woman, we got thighs in the way, cheeks in the way, food buying the way, you know, we need a little, we need more, you know, <laughs> we need more, you know, you want us to get on top, we don't want it to tickle, you know, I say this all the time, you know, I say this, like, you just can't expect a woman to get on top, it's just going to be like, you're you know, you, you just tickling it, you know? So yeah, have something to get on top of. 
All right, but no, um, I'm not shaming anybody any size because, you know, people with smaller things can do different things, okay? I'm not shaming anybody. Um, I'm just saying, just don't expect a bigger girl to get on top if there's, y'all get it by now. <laughs> but yeah, getting on top was definitely a fair and I don't want to get into my sex life too much, but uh, I have gotten on top, you know, but it's just, again it's it's hit or miss you know it's hit or miss it's hit or miss and i think i don't know who i was watching i want to say srv and i think she was saying like be on your feet and i actually took that advice you know um it's like doing a squat rather than putting your legs on the bed because then your thighs gonna be closer together but if you're actually on your feet and i know you guys probably not gonna get the visual but if you're on your feet think about going into a squat you know and you will get lower you know if you do that rather than putting your legs on the bed in a typical i guess every girl's go-to ride position um when their thighs or their knees are touching the bed and the thighs are on the other thighs and you know y'all doing things um just as a bigger woman, I think you would get lower if you're doing a squat-like position rather than, uh, I want to not crawl, but, you know, just, I'm over here, like, trying to show y'all, <laughs> like, you know, just, y'all get me, y'all get me. Squat, don't do the other thing, whatever. So, the next thing, which the box is a little bit broken was the Adam and Eve Rechargeable Magic Massager Rose Gold Edition. So it looks like that. She's really pretty. She's um, She has 10 powerful vibration functions. Um, it says thrilling speed, pulsation, and patterns. Each function has five levels of adjustability. I mean adjustable intensity. Um, plastic handle, flexible neck, makes play comfortable and easy, 13 inches total length, rechargeable, and it includes a charging cable. So, this is huge. It has a storage bag. Oh, it's pink. The storage bag is pink. I really thought it was going to be a rosy gold color. But this is it right here. It's actually pretty lightweight. I thought it would be a little bit heavier, but... It's pretty lightweight, so that's a good thing. Um, let's see if it got any juice in it. Oh, wow. Cool. So are these massagers, or do people do other things with these? I'm about to just have a whole bunch of sex toys on my table. So before I go on to this next thing, let me think of another insecurity or fear in the bedroom. I think a lot of people fear intimacy. And I don't think that's just plus size. I think that's in general. And I know a lot of people saying, well, isn't having sex intimate? Like, but you you would be surprised how many people don't like take sex seriously. You know, you'll be surprised how many people just love quick fucks, I guess, or you know quick nights whatever the case is um what do, what do you call them one night stands and stuff like that you will be surprised how many people actually enjoy those and they don't connect you know they don't become completely vulnerable they don't become completely emotional completely intimate with this person so um some people believe in soul ties some people believe that whoever you have sex with they're leaving a piece of you inside of they're leaving a piece of themselves inside of you. And not to say I don't believe that fully, but I definitely believe that intimacy is a big deal. You know, I, of course I have my fair share of, I'm not going to say a fair share. I'm not going to be up here like, you know, like I'm like that, but I'm not. Um, but I definitely, you know, had people who I wasn't even connected to and I felt that, you know, during sex, you know. And it was like, well, why would you have sex with those people if you don't even feel you know connected to them but it's a way it's definitely a different connection sex is totally different when you love a person and that's why i know there's a difference between having sex and making love and not to bash anybody who likes to just have fun you know it is what it is you know do you if that's fun for you that's fun for you but 
for me, becoming completely vulnerable, completely intimate, that's just something way different. It makes, it turns sex into something totally different. And that's where, like I said, I believe making love comes into play because, yeah, it's just way different when you're connected to a person and, you know, the eye contact, the just everything, you know, becomes just, woo, you know? So, yeah, I think a lot of people fear being completely vulnerable in a bedroom and just in general, emotionally, all of that. So the next thing I have here is the Intimate Curves Rechargeable Wand, and it just looks like that. Um, I love pink. I love pink toys. I don't know why, but it's a thing. Um, I'm not going to try this lingerie on uh, for you all anyways, but um, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the model. So this one is rechargeable. I don't know if I mentioned that. Yeah, I did. So it just looks like that and her charger just fell out. I think people fear trying new things. Yeah, I don't think like role play, uh, different positions, because I know once you get into the groove of something and you know that satisfies her and you know that satisfies him, that's just y'all go to, you know, maybe it's a missionary in a, you know, front of back or whatever. Um... But if you don't try new things, you will never know what else you might like. So I think venturing out and, you know, like role playing, wearing uh, what they wear, the latex, the, the, you know, them suits that people wear. Uh, you know, just like I said, venturing out in general or, yeah, just trying new things. So I think a lot of people fear that, but there's no need to fear that. You feel me? Um, because you won't know that you like it until you try it. And that's like being handcuffed and just, you know, all of that stuff. So the next thing I have here, and I'm going to go through all of the lingerie pieces really quickly. So this is a crisscross lace mini skirt with garters. And it just looks like that. I'm so excited to try this out because I finally got some knee highs. Uh, and hopefully the knee highs I got, the garters do attach to it. But I think... For the most part, they do. I used to think that you had to hook it in, but for these, they just look like they snap in. So I'm really excited about these. We're not in focus. <laughs> but I'm really excited about this skirt. I'm really excited about the strappies. And I don't know if the bra comes with it, but let's find out. It says it's a set. Oh, it comes with a G-string. And then... Oh, it is connected. So the, the bra is attached to it. Okay. And I have the queen size. I think it, do, it doesn't have like the 3X or 4X. I think it just has, you know, queen size or, you know, average size. Not really sure. But, oh, yes, honey. I am ready. I'm ready for her. And the thing about these type of like teddies and lingerie, like this doesn't, it says it'll fit 18 through 20, no, 16 through 22. So it should fit. But yeah, the thing about these teddies and stuff, they don't have to be super duper like fitting because it's supposed to be showing some skin anyway. So the other thing I have here is some um, thigh highs just to go with that uh set that i just showed you all so just some thigh highs queen size if it's 1x through 3x so then this next thing honey i'm real excited about her so this is what she looks like let me move this over so this is what she looks like like oh i'm so excited um i have one similar but i think this one is just way prettier like that's the bottom and it does have the garter straps to connect to my thighs okay so now i see how this snap i never had like the garter straps so i see now cool beans and then this is the top of it Ooh, ooh, valentine's a come through but i need red though so this is the top of it. Nice coverage. And I think this would actually be like a cute little bralette. But we're going to keep that for the bedroom. Personally, 
uh, when I first met my boyfriend, I actually didn't take my makeup completely off. I didn't take my wig off. Um, <laughs> not to say that was a fear. It just was like, you just don't know how people are going to react. And But he's like, he doesn't like when I wear makeup. He doesn't like when I wear wigs. He loves my natural hair, um, natural face, you know. Uh, and I think for the most part, he really just doesn't like the makeup. Because when I kiss him, you know, it gets on him or whatever. But, yeah, I think that wasn't a fear. It was more so just uh, being, you know, I just wasn't comfortable. Um, so, yeah, for a little while, I would keep my lashes on. Try to keep a little bit of, you know, concealer under the brow. Uh, of course, I always keep chapstick or something on my lips. But I just wouldn't take my makeup completely off. And then when he started spending the night, I was like, all right, this is getting, um... A little excessive, so you got to see me in my roughest state. You know how good I look, you know. Not that wasn't a conceited statement. Just don't take that out of context. But you know how I look with my makeup on, my, with my wigs on. You know how I look, I guess, enhanced with these things. You know how I look. So let's let me show you this natural beauty, and you're gonna take it or you're gonna leave it. But he definitely enjoyed it. His white t-shirts enjoyed it when I stopped wearing makeup in a bed. Um, and yeah, just the wigs, that was just for me, honey, because I was about tired of keeping a wig on overnight. I was happy when he left. I'd be like, whoo, you know, snatch it off. But uh, I wouldn't say that was a fear so much, but it was definitely something I had to overcome. So the last two things I have is this, I think this is whipped cream flavored. Yeah, whipped cream flavored we're out of focus. Focus on me. Whipped cream favorite lubricant. And, um, yeah. It just looks like that. And also the Turn Me On Rechargeable Love Bullet. So what I do love about Adam and Eve that most of their toys come with a five-year warranty, um, which is pretty good. Most of them are waterproof. A lot of the toys nowadays are rechargeable, so these are all pluses. Again, I do have a coupon code, and it is white, W-H-I-T-E. We'll leave it down below, and I'll leave the site down below. If I can find a link to certain things, especially the lingerie, I'll leave that down below. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what was one of your biggest insecurities or fears in the bedroom.